difference about doing this piece here instead of doing it in the ground is we don't have an orchestra pit. You're literally with the actors in the space. I mean, it's an interesting challenge, especially for the cast, because there isn't a moment where you can let your character drop. So it's a kind of level of intensity and also there's a kind of subtlety needed to work this closely with an audience. I mean, um, I sit in rehearsal rooms all the time and it's a thrill for me to sort of be that close to the cast and I kind of think actually it's going to have that same thrill in here. Well, the piece, even though it's originally, and it has to be said, it's a French story, you know, by Montpassant, that uh, it, it's something about this is quintessentially English and I kind of I kind of phrase really when we started working on it Giles Havergal the director and I is that it should feel like it's World War II in a potting shed um, and using a vocabulary that you'd expect to see um, in the sort of setting up of a village fate we've our piece is kind of not sort of time specific in the sense of it's definitely in a particular year we've set it kind of in the 30s and sort of in the 40s with an element of the 50s. The older people within the piece are definitely the old order. They're sort of locked into a, a kind of different silhouette, a different time, um, and they're the sort of 1930s world. And then the younger people who are more progressive, one could say, who are about to change the world, um, that's they've inherited from the older characters within the piece. Uh, that they're a, they're a later silhouette, they're softer. Um, but it's definitely, it's definitely British. There are so many moments in this piece where I just, I, I'm kind of, as well as laughing, I think there's something really profound about this piece. Um, even though it, it can be seen to have kind of a light, funny subject matter. Um, Britain, you know, he, he doesn't shy away from the big questions in life, you know, existence, what it means to grow older, what it means to um, inherit a system, a way of being a, from a previous generation and how you react to that, what it is to be the outsider. Um, but there are some, because we're doing it in this space and in a very detailed way, there, there are moments in it, and I don't want to give too much away, where some of the simple things that happen are absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, there, there's a moment where, where Al, Albert sort of um, comes back from the fate. He's been drinking uh, lemonade, which has been spiked with rum. And he becomes this sort of almost man who's on the edge of liberation. And he sort of storms off and he rides through the space on a bicycle. And I watched that yesterday and for some reason I just thought, I'm watching an incredible piece of cinema. Um, but there are many, many moments that are, are also incredibly exciting.